So after I've inserted all of my pictures, one picture into each letter here, um, and perhaps you wanted to put a stroke around your letters or a drop shadow, we went over all that stuff. We still need like maybe two more pieces here. So what photo wise should I add after I finish my letters? A background, definitely. Okay. So background choices are kind of tricky. I generally recommend, do you think you should go with something really busy or do you think you should go with something usually a little simpler? Why do you think simpler is tends to be a better choice for a background? Exactly. You want your words to pop out more. Okay. So I'm dragging my picture in. It just may take a minute because it's a big old file. And I'll drag my picture in. And then when it loads, I'm just going to make sure I drag it to like the bottom of my layers here. Yeah, because you can see it gets a little hanky. So I want to definitely drag it under Tokyo like that. Okay. Um, sometimes when you drag it in, you may notice that like um, it takes away your clipping masks and that can be annoying. So you could just right click on them again and hit a clipping mask and everything will go back to the way it was. So I want it, that's what sometimes can be tricky too, stretching your picture, making sure you have the right amount of it showing. I try not to have anything super important running right through the middle because your images are usually going right through the middle. So anytime you have like a land and sky, you try and break it into like thirds. So my mountains are kind of the third, bottom third of my um, project here. I could even like move it down a little more like maybe. Eh, that's a little too centered for me. I think I'm going to do something like that. Okay. Now, the nice part at the end, you could also move your text. Like personally, I think I made my text a little bit too big. So there's a really easy way to select it so I could see some more background. I'm going to select Tokyo, hold my shift key, and click the top layer, like my last picture, my clipping mask with that little arrow. And then I can move this stuff all together. I can change the size by using Control T. I could tilt it. Some people are really into that. It's up to you and what you like best and how it's going to fit on your project. Just want to make sure it's not hanging off any of my sides. What do you think is the last piece I need to the puzzle? Greetings from, Greetings from and, and Japan. Okay. So you have two options on how you want to finish that part up. You could go in with... Um, just a text box and you could type it in. Do you think this size and this font is a great choice? Good. Why? Way too small. Number one, eh, that's a little bit too big. Something along that. Usually it, maybe it goes about halfway down your page is good. Um, I think I want something a little jazzier since Tokyo is pretty solid. Um, but I could sit here and go through a lot of different things. Some people like to get more of a script kind of font when they're doing this part. And then when I choose Japan, which word do you think is more important and significant for the viewer? Japan or greetings from? Mm, let's say I don't know where Tokyo is. Like you may be, uh, you, people may not know. So we, we don't want to take advantage of that. So Japan is definitely more important. I think I went way too big on the size though. Bummer. So I can even go a little bigger on that one. What also doesn't work so hot about what I did with Japan right now? Yeah, the color. You may have to sit here and change your color. Some people even add a stroke because it's easier to read. Some, mm, I don't like that, but um, sometimes they add like a really thin stroke around it. So it's a little easier to read. Uh, yeah, still too big for my liking, but you can see we're, we're getting there like 42 and then I can go back to greetings from do you think my colors match right now with my greetings from and my Japan no no it's generally you try and match them or you want to share some kind of color element with them yeah the white could be tricky to see in the sky so maybe I will put a stroke on it Still a little thick for my liking, but something very subtle could work a lot better for me. I probably wouldn't have gone with purple to begin with, but I was just trying to make it a little easier. So we want to think about that balance we talked about. I know 
Try and think about having the same distance from here to here as I do here to here. Um, that's pretty much our plan. Do you have any questions about the process so far? All right. Um, one 